Thanks so much, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. In naturopathic school, I've learned about many different probiotics on the market, and I've never heard of anything quite like Ritual's newly launched Symbiotic Plus. Now, Symbiotic Plus is a three-in-one formula of prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics that support your gut health, immune health, and digestive health. I've been taking Ritual's multivitamin for the past two months and I absolutely love it. The quality is incredible and all the ingredients are research-backed. So I was really excited when it came out with the Symbiotic Plus. The probiotics are the live microorganisms that get transferred to the colon. The prebiotic is the food for that beneficial bacteria and it promotes their activity and growth. And the postbiotic is really cool. In this case, they use tributyrin, which provides fuel to the cells of the gut lining. The capsule is a delayed release capsule, which means all the wonderful biotics gets transferred to the colon rather than staying in the stomach. I also love that there is no refrigeration required. I often forget about probiotics that are left in the fridge, so having this out on the table means that I will make sure to take it every day. And just like all of Ritual's products, Symbiotic Plus is a clean formula that is made vegan friendly and is formulated without GMOs, major allergens, animal products, and artificial colors. Symbiotic Plus is also made traceable, which means it shows every labeled ingredient, supplier, and key studies. You can also sign up for a monthly subscription, which means free shipping every month to your door. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is giving you 20% off your first month using my code SIMITA20. That's 20% off your first month by going to ritual.com slash SIMITA20 and using my code SIMITA20 at checkout. Release your hair yeah. so that it won't.
applying some acupressure around the eye to relax the eye muscles and reduce any strain. Just continue taking slow deep breaths to help to move your nervous system into a relaxed state. And you're just massaging the temporalis muscle. Today we have a special treat for you. We're doing a an ear candling session. This was inspired by you and Angelica session that you had um, while you were in that cabin. It's relaxing. Yeah. I do hope that it helps to center you and kind of bring you back into your body, to your senses, specifically your hearing, out of the mind, and into the senses. Yeah. How have you been feeling lately? Just taking a look inside your ear, okay? Okay. So, I already have the piece on here. Just turn your head. Just like that. Great. Great. So, let's take a look inside. inspect outside first so. just looking for any signs of infection or any float pores or anything like that I don't see anything of concern then I'm just going to go 
bit deeper. So far the canal looks really good. There's a bit of serum in but it's quite healthy. Healthy yellow color. And I'm just gonna visualize the tympanic membrane. It does look a little bit white. I'm still able to very clearly see the cone of light and the bony landmarks. There's a little bit of vascularity, which I think is normal. Is that uncomfortable at all? Is that okay? No, it feels fine. Okay, I'm just gonna go in one more time. infection and the ear canal looks a nice flesh color yeah. so no contraindications on this side for the ear candling so that's good great let's take a look on the other side I'm going to start with inspecting the external ear. The skin looks very healthy. Great. Now clean. We'll, we'll do a little bit of cleaning before the ear candling. So I'm just going to pull pin out of your ear and work my way in a little bit. And again, just a little bit of ceremon. It's a nice yellow color. And then the ear canal is also not not red. That's good. I can see the cone of light. There's no signs of bulging with the tympanic membrane. No perforations. Bony landmarks are present. It's a nice translucent membrane, so that's good. This ear looks very healthy, and again, no contraindications for the ear candling procedure.
and just gently wiping the external ear. and clean. Very good. Now I'm going to apply a few ear seeds, if that's okay. That'd be great. So, let's adjust Applying acupressure on your ears for a longer duration of time. And I'm going to apply to the point called Shenmen, which will help to calm the mind and also connect your body to your spirit and your mind. So let's apply that over here. Would you like me to apply the allergy point as well? Or? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. You're you remembered? will help to reduce your allergic symptoms and just your overall sensitivity to an allergen that's that you're sensitive to.
show you, we're going to light this rose incense. It's made out of rosa indica, which increases love, compassion, and devotion, gives a sense of security and spiritual attunement, it promotes sleep, reduces anger, is gently antidepressive, and calm strife and hormonal imbalances. So, just grab one of these in here. my feather, my eagle feather here, and just kind of waft the incense towards you. generate compassion and love for yourself and everything you're going through right now. It's not easy going through this transition. certainly be our own biggest critic. So the incense will continue to burn throughout this session. As we begin our candling, your candling. Is there a specific ear you'd like to start with first? Can we start with the left ear? Sure. Okay. So we'll turn you Let it rest, like, for 
they're in the ear canal. Sounds like green on a tin roof. Oh, really? Yeah, it's nice.
Julia. Yeah. Go ahead and 